been a while since I've done one of these, huh? So, where have I been these past couple of weeks? Well, I had three assignments due within two weeks of each other, which resulted in a lot of crying, questioning my future career, procrastination, and furious sighting. So, let's reflect on one of the projects I did for Media One. My creative audio research project. I reckon the most successful aspect of the project was my creative team of Daniel, Jade, and I. We had all worked together on Media One videos in the past and it was refreshing to be able to freely bounce ideas off of each other without anyone's egos getting in the way. This openness established a collaborative atmosphere where each group member could say what they wanted to say and I think this is a successful aspect that's shown in the final product. I believe the most problematic aspect of the project was a number of extraneous factors that limited the amount of time we could actually meet in person as a group. Not only do all of us have other classes, part-time jobs and social lives that limit our free time, but two weeks into the project a family member of mine caught COVID, forcing me to isolate for seven days. I didn't let this time go to waste, I was heavily active on our Discord group chat and worked on our collaborative Google Doc from home during class times, but I'm sure that it was a hindrance for my other group members and I honestly feel kind of guilty that that occurred. Our research project mainly focused on YouTube's decision to remove the dislike button and the positive and negative reactions to this change. Our group researched academic sources such as John Hun's paper, YouTube should not remove the dislike button, video essays from YouTube content creators, and our own personal experience of being YouTube consumers. In my research I was able to link the dislike button removal with the concept of YouTube shifting to a hybrid commercial space, proposed in our week 6 reading, Researching YouTube. The piece also suggested that through this shift, YouTube was attempting to establish an advertiser-friendly image, and the removal of the dislike button could have occurred to reaffirm this. This is an argument that appeared in the final research project. I guess to me the most important element of audio-based media is the placement of sound effects and music to manipulate emotion and intent. For example, you use suspense rises, ominous music, eerie ambience, and pitch shifted my voice to create an uneasy feeling in my opening monologue of the project. Another example is the use of up-tempo music jingles and audience engagement noises during the debate segment to liven up the discussions and engage the listener in the arguments being brought forward. The aim of the project for me was to display an unbiased, neutral debate of the removal of the dislike button and the use of sound effects and music dictated the emotions of the piece, helping to do just that. The most vital thing I learned in this project is communication is everything. If you don't communicate what you want changed or to add things, then it won't get done. At the beginning of my week in isolation, I found that Daniel and Jade had started with the debate concept without consulting me. And while I was more than okay with the idea, it gave me the wake-up call I needed to remain active in the group discussions and pitch my ideas when I could. In order to do this, Jay, Daniel and I set up a Snapchat room where we could casually talk about the project, a Google Doc where we could collaboratively edit the script, and a Discord group chat where we held numerous video calls discussing the rough cut and the changes that needed to be done. So, yeah, communication is everything. Last week we got a lot of very positive and constructive feedback during our rough cut viewing. The main point was that our podcast wasn't very conversational, it felt like we were all reading from a script. So we therefore decided to re-record some lines to sound more natural and shifted the podcast idea to more of a structured debate setting to match the formal points being made. Other changes based on our feedback included improving sound mixing on different audio channels, adding crowd ambience to improve pacing, and adding our final end consisting of recordings of YouTube comments made from the community. All of these changes improved the final product overall as you can hear. So yeah, that's my reflection on me, Daniel and Jade's audio research project on the removal of the YouTube dislike button. And honestly, going off script for one second, I genuinely had a really great time doing this. Daniel and Jade are such good collaborators and I think we made a fun, engaging and informative project, you know, and we learned a lot that we didn't know before. But if there's one thing that I need to reflect on over these past couple of weeks, it's just, I need sleep.